To get started, we need to make a copy of this design which my friend created. I'm going to leave a link to this design project so you can follow along. The design itself was created by cloning the official AWS Amplify UI template and then he themed it differently. Even though we are going to use the design here, I still want to show you how to use the official UI library for your future projects. That said, head to figma.com slash community and search for AWS Amplify UI kit. Find the kit that is maintained by the AWS Amplify team and open it. Once it is open, click the duplicate button and this will create a copy of this project into your Figma account. The project contains a readme, primitives like buttons and form controls that make up the components. The components which are usable components composed of primitives that you can drop in your website. And lastly, an example page that shows you how to use the components. Now to change the theme, we need to install the AWS Amplify Theme Editor from the community page. Head to the community page and search for AWS Amplify Theme Editor. Click the plugin tab and install the plugin. I don't have to do this because I already have the plugin installed. Now back to the Figma project, press command slash to bring up the Figma command palette. Search for AWS Amplify Theme Editor and open it. Navigate to the components tab and search for button.primary and change the color to something different. Click save and you should see that the color of the button in the primitives page was updated. It is important to keep in mind that it is recommended that you don't change the primitives directly. As you can see, the art boards are locked to protect you from accidentally making changes to the component. The primitives have a one-to-one -one mapping with the AWS Amplify React UI library, which we will use when we pull the component into our React project. Changing the primitives will make it fall out of sync with the React UI library. When we use the themes, Amplify will give us an object containing the themes, which we can then pass to the React UI library to customize it. Now, when you go back to the components page, you should see that all your buttons are now purple. Same thing goes to the examples page as well. Like I mentioned earlier, my friend has gone through the UI kit and created a custom one for us that suits a membership website. In the primitives page, he changed the button to orange and the background to dark blue among a few other things. In the components page, we can see the custom theme in action. We have a hero component, a testimony component, a story component, and so on. He then used the components to build a full website in the examples page, which includes a landing page and a paywall protected page.